Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die presents the Grimstone Chronicle Season 5, Episode 22. I am your host, but not your DM. Joined by the full Ontario crew. Let's get their mics nice and toasty, warm. Where were our levels at? How's it going on this fine Wednesday? Uh, Excellent. I am creating mystery bread. Because I ran out of ingredients part of the way through putting it in the rice ma- <laughs> the, in the bread maker. So I was like, well, my wife said add some milk. So I put some milk in. And then it's like, I only have two and a half cups of flour. And that's not enough flour. So we're going to throw some oats in there. And, you know, we're going <laughs> to throw a little powdered sugar in there. I don't fucking know. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> You might end up with uh oh, what's that gross cake called uh not pound cake um uh, pound cake uh, uh, the christmas bread oh it's cake. uh that is um <clears throat> fruit 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 cake fruit cake yeah that's nasty uh, fruit cake I is like a, think... oh go ahead go ahead i was gonna say fruit cake is like a very historic dessert yeah like it's a very long tradition it preserves long like yes yeah. i really think worst case scenario for you is uh, it's the best bread you've ever had and you spend the rest of your life going how the fuck did I make that? <laughs> <laughs> well, so the one thing Adam is good at is keeping measures and currently okay, he's, he's, he's uh, tracking calories so I've already put in like my loaf of bread is 1,946 calories I've got everything written down. It's probably just not going to rise as much as you hope. <laughs> this is the yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, well, and it was also like, so my wife is like, we, should, we I want milk in there. I'm like, okay, we've only got like protein milk. Use that. So it's like, all right, we'll see what this does. It's like the... It's going to be very dense. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Protein milk and oats. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's got like double the number of protein for a loaf of bread, <laughs> which is still not enough to fucking matter. It's bread. <laughs> So yeah, I've been doing that, and then um, I've been watching uh, old Top Gear episodes and playing the Remedy game Control, which is like the spiritual successor to like Max Payne and Alan Wake. And the gameplay is really good, and the setting is interesting. Mm, the um, yeah, yeah, the building, yeah, the the building, yeah, the building is really cool. The characters are all kind of all kind of bleh. And the, the monologuing doesn't really make sense in the setting. There's a scene where they go, I'm happy. I don't know why you wouldn't have had them smile or laugh or show an emotion. But they're going to just do the monologue. I'm happy. Not, like Max Payne only talked about being happy in terms of he's no longer happy. He was thinking about the I happy times. I used to be happy, yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> While I drowned my, in pills and sorrow. <laughs> And Alan Wake fought demons with a flashlight. Like, it's different. <laughs> In here, it's like, it's a really good shooter game. Uh, like, the shooting mechanics are great. It just seems yeah. odd that the shooting mechanic. It seems like the type of game where you would have kind of, like, clunky mechanics. But no, you're fucking awesome. Like, you, you jump and fly around and all sorts of shit. But, yeah. Anyways, that's what I've been doing. I'm doing jack shit. <laughs> 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 Nothing. I've been busy and shit, that's all. So I'm glad we're gaming on Wednesday, baby. Mm. <laughs> nice. Mark, what's, what's new? Uh, I just took two. Uh, I just finished uh, a run of six days. I took two overtime shifts. <clears throat> so I only get two days off this week. Well, day and a half. Then I go back to work and do another six days. <laughs> but, so this uh, is your break? <laughs> this is my break. Yep. Yep. I, uh, I, I had to, I got home from work, had to drive my wife to an appointment at nine that I thought, okay, 45 minutes tops. Nah, it's 11 o'clock before we got out of there. So 1130 by the time I got to bed. So I woke up at five <laughs> and I've got to start moving my schedule over the course of the next two nights to get up at five. <laughs> so. It, it, it's going to be an interesting couple days for five, gonna... five in the evening. Okay. Yeah. I woke up at five in the evening. Yeah. And uh, I basically have to wake up 
48 from out. No. Fuck, I can't even do the math right now. <laughs> uh, Perfect. A day and a half from now. <laughs> 36 hours is what I'm trying to say. In 36 hours, I gotta get two nights worth of sleep. <laughs> Let's see. I'm watching cool. For All Mankind. I've watched a lot of like space movies, TV lately. So I watched Spaceman, Adam Sandler in Space, sort of a sci fi drama. The weirdness of that movie is fun. Endings are hard. Um, for All Mankind. It's something I can watch while I'm playing Civ, so hmm. that's that's kind of my gaming. Oh, and I went back and I'm like, what was that table coin op game where you move a little spaceship around? It wasn't Space Invaders. I'm like, it's like the next gen Space Invaders. So I Galaga, Galaga or something like that. Yeah, Galaga. Uh, I found it for a buck fifty on PS4. <laughs> And in between meetings, I've been playing Galaga <laughs> and getting my ass, my ass stomped by, you know, lack of. <laughs> Season two of Physical 100 has started coming out, um, which is that Korean mm. show about athletes where they no. just <laughs> athletes do challenges. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, cool. I find it highly stimulating. And then I was really happy they did a cardio event. Uh, as one of their first sort of like eliminator events or like a you know whatever it was just like everybody had to run treadmills. The first season they had to do dead hangs, and I'm like, oh yeah, just throw me in the fucking you know <laughs> if I was there because like I do well, a lot. Of... Yeah, all the big guys fall first. In the yeah, dead all the hangs, big guys right? just fall in the dead hangs. Yeah. So this case, this time it was a distance like it was ten minute a ten minute run, then a seven minute run, then a five minute run, total distance covered. Um, and they kept eliminating people. So if you like totally sucked it, then you've got to save energy. Uh, some of the distances, I was like, big fat Adam, when his ankle worked, I would have been like in the, you know, 70 something for the run. And the run is terrible for me. That's fucking awesome. That's like an ego boost I've ever seen. <laughs> there's people who, there's a dude who only got like 450 meters in 10 minutes, which is a slow walk. <laughs> In ten minutes, oh, he had something wrong. <laughs> well, so he was he a... dragging a truck. <laughs> he, he pulled a hamstring, but oh. um, but uh, there's other people who are like 500 meters, 600 meters. Like there was a full spread of the big guys, right? Uh huh. Uh, but I think Korea Korea only really has one or two strong men. So this season has no strong men, right? There's there's no like people who do that as a sport. Yeah. So I feel underrepresented, and they added like. Here's this movie actor who's like six foot tall and 450 pounds. And it's like, but he, but he's an actor. And it's not the, it's not this is no, <laughs> it's not the same thing. <laughs> I rewatched Squid Game last week also. So yeah. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, like, yeah. The, the show's modeled after yeah. Squid Game. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyways, I've, I've seen the first. Stuff. Yeah, I've seen the first. I'll watch the second. If the second season's out, I'll watch the second season. It, it's the, modeled yeah. after Squid Game. Is that how they get them to run? Damn it! Run! <laughs> no one dies. But... <laughs> well, well it, but they the language like when I was, uh, was watching it. it so it's really it's amazing. coming out like they release four episodes and then it's a number of episodes per week. So don't want bother for about a month. Yep. Um, but they keep using. Now it's time for the one on one death match. And it's like it's not a death match. No one's gonna <laughs> die. No, we would die. It's an elimination match. <laughs> they're, oh, you know, the they're fighting for survival. <laughs> it's like no, this isn't surviving. <laughs> this is just they're gonna. Uh, all all, oh, la no. all language no longer means what it means anymore, Adam. <laughs> it, it's you know, uh, I find the uh, the culture is very interesting. Like, there's three hundred thousand dollars on the line if you win. Which is a lot of money. And there's people who are like, you can choose your opponent. And the men could choose to go against the women. But they're like, nope, we are, I'm going to go. Again. And they don't do the, they don't, everybody was like, nope, I'm going to pick somebody who's a little bit smaller than me and looks a little bit less athletic than me. But only enough to make it look like I was, you so, know. So that there's a sense of honor still is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There's this, you know. Not me for 350 grand, I flatten a woman. <laughs> well, yeah, this is kind of the thing where it's like, oh, no. they need to make the North American version Don't look this. at me like that. <laughs> you signed up for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see this coming. 
fighting over a medicine ball in a shallow pool. You know. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> uh, funny. No, yeah. no. It's it. The show is entertaining. It's just fun. Um, All right, last two games: Wild Hunt Part One. False Capper has teamed up with Ophelia the Norn and a group of unseelie Fey. The Steel Rose Squad follows Capper into a pocket dimension in the Fey Wild. Uh, Wild Hunt Part Two. The Steel, the Steel Rose Squad does battle with the False Capper and his new allies, including Ophelia the Norn and the Monarch of Autumn. The Steel Rose Squad grinds down the enemy's defenses before a final push into the Monarch's chamber. The False Capper downs one of the squad members before the defender's lines falter. The Monarch tries to raise the fallen, uh, the fallen Steel Rose Squad member, and that's kind of where we ended. And mm-hmm. Ray's being also transform horn growing out of the head. Not sure what the hell is going on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are still in initiative pips. Oh, that's right. Um, because, uh, and, and Darta, um, who I don't think you even know his name, uh, the monarch, the guy you've been calling, I believe it was Big Fuzzy Bitch, something like that. There's... Also, you've also been calling him Pooh Bear. And... Pooh Bear. Oh, Pooh Bear. <laughs> uh, is still on the field. Dugan, uh, you you still you still feel this intense dislike of Pooh Bear and Pooh Bear's location. There's a slight ping of, you know, oh, the crown went into the weird spell pool in the middle of the thing, but oh well. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> well, maybe I can use the crown, because I don't think I'm moving him. <laughs> and I think I'll be lucky to hurt him, quite frankly. Um, you know, my, my map is still loading. I am going to... Dugan's outside? Oh, uh, he left his little crevice and flew around or something? I'm not sure what's going uh, on. Dugan was being targeted in his little crevice. Damn it. Remind me, what map are we on? Jesus. Uh, uh, here, I will force you. Thank you. Uh, I can't force you. Uh, oh no, I logged in as a player. Uh, You're in the no second DM. one, Autumn Quick. Forts. That's me, <laughs> <Better shade treasure. laughs> Let's kill all the <laughs> Uh, Look, all the bad guys are gone. <laughs> we, we, we will. I, I will. I won't log out. Log in because I will have to embarrassingly ask for the password because I keep. Uh, uh, anyways, Here, it's, uh, it's, if you could force Shared mark to the map though. Oh, I'm logged as a player here. As a oh, player. here. Then I will do it. Uh, here, give me a second. I'm logging in. I'm having a. Oh, there we go. There we go. Again. It's the. Uh... Is Dugan in his little hole still, or did he fly no, around? Dugan's, Dugan's, Dugan's over here. Okay. He, yeah, he left because he got uh, fairy fired. Ah. Uh, I think he's going to. That pool of it. Well, I mean, from the map, it looks like blood. Uh, it is a a pool of like um, magical energy and like fetid essence. Um, well, that seems fine. We're going for the crown. King here. (laughs) Cool. (laughs) Bloop. Okay, uh, give me a perception check. Um, Is this boiling? I've got protection from fire anyway. Uh, Are you going in like you're you're diving in? Well, unless I can see it. Uh, Give me a perception check. All right. And, and the description of your senses. I think you, you're low light and maybe low dark. Light and dark vision. He's got dark okay. vision. Uh, no, our, if, if there's a trap, we'll add eight to this. Someone trap is a fireplace a trap? I don't necessarily. Probably not. No, no. <laughs> there's a fire trap on the fire. It's more of an obvious problem. <laughs> uh, we've got good hope going. So 36. So 47. 47? Okay. Uh, you, you, you don't currently see it, but you give have a sense of where it is. Um, it's like a somewhat unnatural feeling. Like it doesn't, like you have an unnatural sense of where it is. Okay. I am going to use my um, telekinesis 
to raise it up and bring it to me. Cool. Uh, Sorry, bring it to me. Drop it on my head. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll see if it shrinks down like rings and stuff. Too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fort save. Uh, this this glowing crown is pulled up from uh, from this pool. There's a, a flash of energy. Um, it it falls on your head as it's shrinking to the size of a ring um, and pulling itself across your brow. Uh, 26. Okay. Um, it is a painful experience as it's kind of pressing into your, your forehead and skull. Um, you think it would be very difficult to get off. Okay, that's... All right. Can he can he succeed with an extra d6, perhaps? He did succeed. No, oh, okay, that's the succeed. That, right, that's okay. success. <laughs> okay, okay no, sorry. No, no. Uh, I forgot... I have a head slot item. What happened to the... Oh, no, that can go. <laughs> he just drops his hat. <laughs> you had a disguise or something? Yeah. No, he had, a, he had another crown on already. He's like, oh, that's a bigger fucking crown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you you drop it there, or do you try to... Uh, he, just, he just drops it there. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so you, you've dropped your crown. Um Give me a um, charisma check. Sorry, I, I'm just to be clear. I'm dropping Frogax crown that he had on before and putting the new one on. Yes. Okay. You, you All right. Just, I just want to be clear. I, I did not real. I did not know the name of the crown. What does yeah. that crown do? Just for uh, it's a circlet of persuasion and a hat of disguise. Okay. Oh, nice. We can work that into the new thing. <laughs> All right, give me a charisma right, check. A couple of grand. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> straight charisma? Uh, a straight charisma roll. Uh, if you have, I, I guess you, good hope or heroism oh, would apply hope, to yeah. this. Um, Shit, does he have heroism? Uh, you again. It's been a week or two. No heroism, good hope, though. Okay. You also have a couple of uses of Grand Destiny uh, that can be used for. Never mind. Not on a, a good week. 26. 26. Um, all right. Uh, the opposed roll. Uh, can here. Uh, 21. Um, you know where everybody in. You you know the breadth and scope of this place. You know where beings are, the ones who are mind blank. You don't know that they're there, but you know that there's like something wrong in the general area. Okay. Um Ooh. you know that the tree is is injured, but not in a way that it's not recoverable. It will just take time for the tree to heal itself. Um, there is a font of power in the center of the tree. Um, you're not 100% certain what you can do with the font of power, but there is a font of power here. Uh, Okie doke. The... Pooh Bear doesn't look terribly pleased as he's glowering in your general direction. Well, he's getting a couple birds for his little tree. (laughs) 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 Flipping him two tiny little birds. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, Dugan. Uh, Aurelia. Um, Very much dead. Um, Thank God. Being wailed on by a pick. Um, Coven, uh, your PL2, PL3. Oh, those are the protective lux running on Capra and, Capra. Grackle, and Grackle. So that's still fine. Uh, next round, she can cackle. Uh, she doesn't need to do that this round. She okay. is going to look at the bear. Well, first, okay. what were these black squares? 
uh, those black squares were, I want to say, it, oh, creeping doom or something. Uh, I my brain is going creeping doom. I don't know why. I, I don't creeping. Or no, they're they yeah, they're they're bugs that were uh, these monsters. Created. Oh, okay. okay. Is this impacting her in any way at this point, or? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, we're gonna take a mythic move to just move away from the enemy but okay close to the party kind of hovering above aurelia uh we're gonna look at and darta and try to figure out what he is i don't think any okay. of us have rolled any knowledge checks on this nope there was one attempt when the description was there's a bear with a crown <laughs> yeah i think amadeus tried and failed she has Pretty much all of the knowledges, except for nobility. She doesn't keep track of humans. Humans, they die so often. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which knowledge is it? Uh, nature. Uh, or nobility royalty. No, she... She doesn't. Uh, 44. What is it? 44? Uh... Well, you know who this is explicitly. This is Andarta, who is a king of the Fey from generations past. Um, he is a master of the hunt and is Fey basically the vengeance upon Fey, upon that which is mortals, is passed through these beings as a monarch of the hunt. Uh, you know that this being can, like, is unimpeded, like, can see through trees and stuff. Like, it has the ability to see through any sort of vegetation. Uh, it can sense other creatures. It can summon beings of the hunt. Um, and can convert, um, basically, fallen foes near him into beasts of the hunt. As in, like has the ability to take souls, turn them into fey that are effectively under his command. Uh, the hunt is chaotic good or chaotic neutral? It's chaotic neutral. So they, it is... So chaotic neutral zombies. Oh my god. They're alive, but they, they but they're similar to this like shadowy being. Like this this was this like the shadowy being to the south? Yep. Was a non-fey creature turned into this weird fey monster in a relative like a it's not soulless but it's without um like free will like it doesn't have will of its own coven snorts at this this is as bad as like undead the create more undead <laughs> you're not wrong in the cosmic in the cosmic scheme of things this is like <laughs> slotty bad <laughs> Yes, this would this would be like great primal chaos, and this is a form of great primal chaos. Uh, you also know that they are very powerful casters. Um, they are effectively arch druids on top of being like great warriors. You should be ashamed of yourself, taking people without their will. Aren't you the embodiment of will itself? Hmm? Everything succumbs to the hunt. You sound like a devil. You will not lecture me here. She will. And he's like, rise. <laughs> he's rising, the Amadeus. With a standard action, she is going to use a hex called Steel Voice. I've never heard that before. Um, it will get rid of his ability to make speech, including talking, casting spells with verbal components, etc., etc. Nice! Uh, he, he, he gets a fourth save. The fourth save is... Oh. Give me a second. <laughs> I did a mythic move. I did a skill check. Still got standard? I still have a standard. Okay, I can't... Uh, mythic Ill oh. I can't Ill Omen on top. Not cause... The other thing, just, just as a side, Coven knows that the perception, the perceptive ability of this being is, is like off the charts. Okay. It can see through clouds, and it can see through she, trees. She, it can see she, through... <laughs> she explains very quickly in the telepathic bond that Amadeus may have been transformed. 
uh, into an agent of the wild hunt. Um, she says that likely Amadeus doesn't have his free will. Uh, and then she's going to try to steal voice, which is DC 33 fourth save. Okay. We'll uh, save. That... No, we'll save. All right. Um, you would have actually preferred fourth. Fourth save for but... fourth. Yeah. <laughs> if he tries to talk again, she's like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the, it starting to make only bear noises. Okay, for the next 13 rounds, it can't speak or cast bells or use bardic performance or anything that requires. <laughs> oh, someone can't talk. <laughs> if he was willing, it would be hours per int mod. He's not willing for this bullshit. And initially, <laughs> the witch can change her voice to match that of any creature who's who's had their voice stolen. You. Stay the fuck down. <laughs> Shut down, she says. <laughs> it sounds like both Coven oh. and, and it. What's the name from... Uh, uh, oh, my word. Um, Little Mermaid. Uh, you, you cast the Little Mermaid spell. <laughs> Little Mermaid. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tentacle Lady. I can't remember her name. All right. Uh, Evil Capra is has been destroyed. Is shattered upon upon the wind. Uh, Ca Capra his own damn self. Uh, Capra his own damn self with a working bow. Hey, so old bow claps in on itself. He picks up the bow. That evil Capra had, which was a replica of his own, and he looses upon this king of Fey. Fuck you, you big bear! You that? <laughs> Ain't about you. Ain't suffer no kings. And then he lays into it. Um, all right, so uh, the AC. That's right, Capra. You sh you tell him. No fucking king. <laughs> As it appears, um, Hag's got his tongue. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good one, yeah, Capra. <laughs> All right, so critical threat, critical hit, hit. That's now arrows in his head. Hit. Miss. All right. Let's see what the crit does. Amazing. Oh, no, it's like, this fight's done. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Capra. Um, Yelling about how there will there are no kings, suffer no kings. Absolutely thunders a bunch of arrows into this being. Um doing uh give me one second. So that's this much damage. <laughs> <laughs> one calculator of damage. It, 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 well, yeah, it's a calculator of damage. Uh all right, so uh, one second. So it's 64 times 4 plus 44. Squared. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of those situations. <laughs> uh, DM feel good about killing his own uh, you know, uh, winning thing for that for everybody? It's good. <laughs> don't mock him. <laughs> you know what? The arrow breaks halfway. <laughs> Uh, Capra deals 506 damage uh, with his flurry of arrows. Yeah, we saw that. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. They are getting through the being's DR. That bow is strong enough. Um, the uh, Additionally, there's an extra 10 damage worth of elements that gets through, because one of the elements is, is acid does get through. Um, and bring the beast to 580 something putting it at minus 20 um it's con uh, it 
is still alive. Not for long. <laughs> Didn't roll a one on the fort save versus the massive damage roll. Um, it falls down bleeding. Uh, give me one second. Uh, no, it dies because Capra's last arrow missed, but it didn't miss because it fell over. <laughs> uh, Capra, it, it falls over and Capra shoots it again while it's down. No, Kings! You, you tell them, Capra. You tell them. Hmm, well, maybe one. <laughs> there could be princes, <laughs> is what Chug is quickly. <laughs> princes are fine. <laughs> Hey, there's still somebody here, huh? We gotta deal with this bastard down here. <laughs> Alright, Cap Capra is, like, gasping for air. He's got a, breathing a sigh of relief as he does something dramatic. Priestess of Fall uh, is dead. Um, Amadeus. Uh, Amadeus. Um, everything hurts. Everything is crazy. There's this voice in your mind telling you that it is time to hunt. Compelling you to hunt. Rewiring you to hunt. Do you want okay. to hunt? Or do you want to follow the Empire and civilization? And... I don't think he's a hunter. Well, he was a bounty hunter, wasn't he? <laughs> that is literally his first job as <laughs> a hunter. Uh, no, I, I think he's still deeply rooted in the Empire. <laughs> okay. Um, you are a aberration who isn't actually swayed by primordial chaos because you're already primordial chaos uh he's telling you to hunt and this voice is you will hunt you will follow and he's kind of expecting you to obey but you kind of don't have to because it didn't really change you that much. <laughs> you were you were still a, you were a primordial being of chaos. You're still a primordial being of chaos. No. <laughs> Come on, yourself. Okay. Um, everything still hurts, and there's this piercing feeling in like your sternum area. Um, it just it, it's very painful. It's, it's a very painful experience. Your forehead hurts. Everything hurts, but you 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 just know that you can reject it. It is this vile thing. It's not correct. You are you. You're not whatever it wants you to be. Yeah. Okay. If that's uh, he does not want to be uh, a hunter for anybody, so yeah, he rejects it. Uh, were you in any, um, of the telepathic bonds? I, let me check his... I think we had a sneaky, sneaky people and the loud people telepathic bond groups. <laughs> One is like, let's go to the other's like, ah! Yeah, he would have been I would in be in the, the loud people <laughs> telepathic <laughs> bond group. He'd be in the Capra Coven Amadeus... Give me a perception check for the people in that group, uh, primarily Chaga. Chagas. Perception. Plus two. Oops. This group. Forty eight. You heard the faintest whisper of a stern yet in pained, uh, pained Amadeus voice declaring no. Okay, immediately Chaga's screaming in the telepathic bond to Los. Will, will you stop stabbing Amadeus, Los? Stop it now! <laughs> what? 
<laughs> like there's this like hand in the cookie jar sort of innocent boyish look on his face blood dripping from his blade huh <laughs> no I, I think he's alright coven I think he's alright he's rejected it it's best to be sure captain click click <laughs> Ch- Chuck is fine with weapons out. <laughs> he points at the last thing on the battlefield that's still threatening stuff. Okay. Uh, Dasad. Alright, it's me and you, pretty boy. Uh, he will um, quick draw uh, Shuriken, go whoosh, whip it at him. And, roll d20, uh, don't roll one. Uh, this is just a bluff check. You still have to make an attack roll. You're still throwing the thing. Uh, that's fair enough. You can still screw it up. Ooh, I should, right. Wait, do I hit it? in my eye! It's in my eye! Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I, I hit the guy. In a minute. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you faint the being. Um, yeah, I'm not doing damage in this. I don't really give a crap about this damage. Okay. Uh, All right. Faint. I will roll for the faint. Or bluff. There you go. Let me see what this one particular power is. 55. Uh, 55 on the bluff. Uh, yeah, you, you, you do bluff them. Um, wow. What's gonna happen next? Nobody knows. E quick draw pistols. Okay. Uh, where is the? Uh... I'm using the revolver. <laughs> I just watched a movie called Hobo with a shotgun. That's a, that is a great film. I. I... It's a good movie. <laughs> It's just one of those, like, you get what you paid for. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what you're getting right away. In the first five minutes, you know what did, you're getting. Did Dassault use the double-barreled pistols yet? I believe so. The I believe he has to ones? reload them. Yeah. No, not the cannon. No, I believe you used a double-barreled shotgun. Like... Yeah, I, I think you've done that. That's, that's a fun thing to do. All right, fine. Okay, so uh... there... They are flat-footed. That's what I was double-checking. Um, but they are susceptible to sneak attack, and you've... They are susceptible to being tricked. Okay. That's <laughs> good. So let's fire... Let's see. Oh, this is interesting. I can fire... Okay, so this is, this is, this is an interesting... I can fire uh, four times because we have. Uh... No, there's a move. There's a mythic move that I can't use to attack with, right? No, but there's a mythic. There's a haste attack. Okay, so Dasad's going to take his move action and turn into a um, uh, a giant, which be- sorry, uh, a cloud giant, but because he's uh, not a cloud giant. What was he called? A, a large, a large giant, large giant, and but because he has legendary proportions, he's going to be gargantuan. So the bullets, instead of doing a D eight, they become forty six. Okay. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Um, now, I'd like to actually be further away from the creature. Sorry, the you're you're becoming a giant cloud giant, and then Marty uh, rules is written. Projectiles that leave enlarged creatures shrink. Um, I don't necessarily think that's terribly fun because you take penalties for growing big to shoot them. So I think it's more fun that they stay big for the attack. Um, I've got I've got no problems with it, but I know it's against rules is written. Uh, if you're okay I with it, I'm okay with it. I can just use a cannon pistol, but this this is more fun. I, that's the uh, real cool. Maybe 
our pistol turns into a small not, cannon. It's not going to uh, unbalance the campaign. That's no. <laughs> No, the one thing I'm it might do is Capra might start using like he's got some ways to make himself bigger. It would actually be meaningful then. Yep. Uh, but because he, he Capra hits most of the time. Um, it'll, cool. It'll, it'll I'm okay with this. Be, it'll definitely be house rule because some of these spells say right in them that. Um, it, it, well, yeah, they all yeah. say that projectiles when they attack. Yeah, I'm cool with this. Just it's more for the stream. If you don't yeah. think it works this way, when you show up at another table, they're gonna look at you like you're dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but in Adam's right, campaign you... online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's All right, real, uh, real so cool, it's... baby. <laughs> Attack, move, and then three attacks. Gargantuan's a massive penalty to Dex. It's yes, a it huge is. penalty to dex and the size penalty to hit. It's like nice not when I roll hit. 18, 20, 20. <laughs> <laughs> dash, dash, oh, what dash. are your guns? What are your guns threatened at? Times four. Uh, twenty times four, I think. Twenty times yeah. four, unless he's got improved so, crit. This thing's paced. Uh, six and twelve. Uh, let's see. Giving me shit about killing one of the enemies with my own PC. <laughs> 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 This is touch AC and he's flat footed. Yes. Uh, his AC flat footed is still 20. Okay. Uh, my ranged attack is plus 20. 12 days. Good, good for you. Now roll, damn, roll your crits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've already. Yeah, he's hit more both critted. Yeah, yeah. Uh. So, did you have to hold the gun right next to my ear? Good. <laughs> uh, reduced mild condition. Time through the mild yeah, condition. Great. That's the first crit. The other crit's just standard crit. Uh, the first, the yeah. first one was standard. The second one is a uh, my is reduced. Cool. And they're all sneak attacks. The time is times four, right? Yeah. Yep. So times four, a times three, and two hits or one hit, a times four, and a times three. So 4d6. And they're all sneak attack? Oh. They're all sneak attack. Yeah, so 4d6 and then times 4 becomes with another. Going to pop. Yeah, 4 times 4 is 16, so 20d6. And then another 3d6. So, another 12, so 32d6. Uh, 3 sneak with 8, so 24d6. It's going to rival Crack Capra's death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to roll that. Uh. Oh wow! Oh, That's, now now it's the uh, your bonuses, eight uh, times yeah. your your damage bonus. Yeah, eight times add. the bonus. Is, yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking like maybe that'll do it. But nope. Plus three Bart song plus two Good Hope. So That's forty right yeah. there. Forty plus whatever. Uh, it's like, a plus four magic. weapon. Plus four weapon. Yep. Okay, so plus seventy-two. Um, yeah, so. Uh, 262 damage. Uh, it's a plus four weapon, meaning I think you get through its DR. You do get through its DR. Uh, and there was no elemental damage in there? No. It was straight. Okay. Um, the being <laughs> has... Wait a second. Uh, I need to open up. Speaking of calculators... I need to get me an old man calculator too, aka a calculator, like the big just one. Just one with big, big buttons. Big, big, all it, all, yeah, all it needs to do is basic stuff. Yep. yep. Plus, I bought one of these for the house, and then it disappeared. Like when I came back after a summer, I'm like, "Where did it go?" And it, I found it up with my dad's office stuff. <laughs> he found it and took it. So I bought another one, and then I I use it for work sometimes when you're doing capacity calculations. <laughs> And I got annoyed having to bring the calculator back and forth between my work computer and, and the D&D &D setup. So I bought a third one. I have two in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are calculators on computers, but it's uh, I it's mean, a tactile. Uh, it's, I just like speed. the feeling. Yep. Um, now, all right. Additionally, I should get a second monitor set up here. Uh, and I figured out why. It's, I, I need to get a freaking cable. Because it needs to be a DVI, and I don't like DVI, so I don't keep the cables. Okay, uh, yeah, you, you, uh, it takes your last shot, which was a times three crit. Um, 
the condition is overridden by the head bit is missing and it shatters into a, a cloud of insects. Uh, the other one um, melted away into shadows. Um, as you free this mortal soul from enslavement by the monarch and Darta. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> Interesting. Does that mean that it's no longer a chaotic neutral being necessarily? It goes back to its... Your uh, coven... By destroying this being... Either you've destroyed it like a fey, and it is basically into the fey version of afterlife, which is questionable at best. Um, fey's kind of being their souls and being weird. There are certain fey's that go into afterlife and become other types of fey, um, and other fey's become elementals. Right? There's certain fey that just like nope, they it gets old and it turns into a rock and then becomes a rock elemental, a soul in the elemental plane of rock, kind of thing. Um, because all the Fae are built from the primordial stuff first, from... First draft. <laughs> like, it's, they don't necessarily follow rules. Uh, the, but there's, like, undercoded coded being within these beings of the Wild Hunt. So there is a way, there has to be a way to, like, free them or undo this. You'd think that, um, you could probably bring the, whoever the mortal was back now with, like, a powerful spell. Uh, but you don't know if that powerful spell is what changes their soul or if the soul is, you know, you're not certain of the state of the soul. You also don't know who it was. Um, okay. Um, Coming against works. the wild, the <laughs> wild hunt is just as evil as undead that create more undead. And ruin souls in the per like, vampires? These things are just as bad. <clears throat> Dugan? You can sense Capra, but you could always have sensed Capra, even though Capra has his spells up. You've been bonded through the ring. You also sense Amadeus with a little bit more specificity than everyone else. Yeah, we'll go over, have a... Can we play the end of the round? Uh, certainly we can. Um, sorry. Apologies. Um, sorry, I, I let my hand slip that you've defeated the threats as far as I was concerned. <laughs> <laughs> um, Monarch and Darda, Chaga. Okay. Chaga's <laughs> gonna move over. He's going to, um... How hurt is Amadeus? Like, is he uh, dying, or...? Amadeus is currently unconscious, but stable. Okay. I thought I heard him in there. Chaka's going to use a... I don't think he's ever used this occult skill unlock. It's called... Uh, read Aura. And the aura that he's going to try to read is Amadeus' alignment. The perception check that Chaka needs to make in order to read his aura is 15 plus hit dice. I think Amadeus is 16 hit dice, so 31 perception check. Yep. He's got a plus... 31 with good hope. Uh, so he reads uh, Amadeus's aura, and I now know his alignment. Okay. Um, Amadeus's aura is currently strange. Okay. Uh, Amadeus is simultaneously lawful and chaotic and good. The Chaotic is, like, in the site you see basically this weird swirling with chaos and law, where it, it looks almost like uh, like you're, you're just perceiving this, like, ripple across his flesh, chasing back and forth. Um, give me a, uh, your perception check was really high. It looks like the, like, the, the chaos is being pushed out of the skin, almost. And it's like being embodied in these, these weird horns that are growing out of Amadeus's skull. He's sweating off the chaos like myself after a very spicy dish. <laughs> well, tell him to stop. It's good for him. <laughs> I don't think we want Amadeus joining the hunt. No. 
Mark. Mm -hmm. Amadeus has a decision. As does Dugan. The power that Dugan feels at the center of this chamber mm -hmm. was a ceremony that was attempting to bestow the mythic connection of fae peoples to a being. Okay. Now, the being needs to be fae. All right. Amadeus could bleed off his mythic that he has stolen through blood theft, purifying himself and connecting himself to the way of Fae. And this is, is this a Mark choice or an Amadeus choice? This is a combination of a, well, this is a Mark choice, but it's a combination of a Dugan and an Amadeus choice because they both have to interact in this. Okay. As in, Dugan has this power that he can't really control and he knows he can link to Amadeus. He knows that um, uh, Capra is not suitable for said linking and it, you, you know that you're not suitable for said linking. You're now in charge of a, of a ritual that you don't know anything about. Now, oh shit! Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, well, Dugan's opinion is everything is better fate. So, Amadeus knows that there is an energy that is trying to push out this taint on his soul is kind of how he, he internally feels it that he has been tainted by by actions of his past and this evil that he carries with him um you know the evil amadeus eating souls of people and you've got bits of their souls floating around in you okay, and yeah. you have the option to purge it if you wish well yeah we're purging evil <laughs> let's purge evil yeah, we'll, we'll purge evil. That's that's that sort of taint is not good. Okay, uh, Chaga. There's a weird. The sweating of chaos is also sweating potent energies that are obvious. The types of energies that make you hungry. Ew, a very spicy dish. He's gonna... Is it, is <laughs> anybody, who, who is drinking of Amadeus? Ah, uh, Los is right there. <laughs> I think we're both drinkers. Uh, we will call over in the party. Um, Coven is not. Grackle is not. I think Capra is a drinker, isn't he? No, he's no, fake. No, he's, 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 uh, he's on the... Grackle is, isn't he? No, uh, Grackle's yeah, through freaking trial. Oh, that's right. The, uh, Grackle yeah. is trial by Grackle is through trial by sword. <laughs> Chaga's yeah. blood theft, Desaad's blood theft, Los's blood theft, and Amadeus's blood theft. The rest are trials. So awesome. let's call over Mega Desaad. Desaad, you may want to come up. <laughs> Mega <Desaad>. Town. <laughs> well, he's he's like. 30 feet tall right now. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yeah. uh, something's yeah, happening yeah, here. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't do this, but chaka has got the rod down. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening on its own, and we don't want the essence to, to disappear. Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the, uh, the Punisher meme. No, 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 no! <laughs> How much XP is coming out of Amadeus? Uh, let me quickly check. Um, it makes sense to give one of us all of it instead of... Amadeus is bleeding out three mythic tears. Yeah, it's, it's not very uh, efficient, is it? Um, no, it's like 30 for... It's like 1 to 10 kind of thing. The worst. Uh, Desaad's the one that's behind... And none of us will level with three, so I think we're letting the sod drink it. Okay. Really? Yeah. 
you're at 13 XP, you need 22. Uh, all of us are... Uh, Always wait. Yep. So this is blood okay. theft of guilty armor. <laughs> Dance. Three points. Is, uh, is he okay with this? You okay with this? Well, I, I'm, I'm assuming you could give it back. <laughs> uh, he, uh, there's two things there. Assuming I can and assuming I want to are two different things, Captain. <laughs> you're, you're very loud when you're that big. Uh, yeah, I was, I, was about, I was looking for the size shrink right here. Uh, size... Medium. He, Your final organ's into, real big when you're that big, too. Turns into uh, the sod, the sod. Coven, what do you make of the big horn thing? <laughs> Fay? Stronger than, stronger than most? Perhaps he's not being converted directly? Perhaps only an outside change? <laughs> Dugan, do you have spellcraft? No. <laughs> Dear God, no. <laughs> okay. Um, give me a... Uh, do you have knowledge nature? Uh, let me double check. I actually might have that one. Where's the mythic file folder? No. Engineering, local, and engineering. So, What is your wisdom? <laughs> <laughs> what is the wisdom of the little creature that tries to steal everything in sight? <laughs> it would be ten. <laughs> okay. Um... You have access to abilities while you're here. Oh, okay. Um, you're not quite certain how to use them. They know they do stuff. You know they range in what they do, and there's a whole bunch of them. There's, there's this whole bunch of stuff that you could do upon. Like now that you've got like this, you're, you're, you're transferring energy to Amadeus. There's stuff happening over there. You're, you're getting this sense of other things that are you know accessible. Could, could I make a use? Me this is through the crown. This is this is through the crown as well as the tree. Could I make a use magic device check to? What do you want to happen? I want Amadeus to not die and be himselfish, like spiritually, but okay. be connected to the Fae because all things Fae are, are better. Okay. Um... In fact, in the back of his head, he's going, maybe we should just kill all the humans so they're all little fey and we bring them back that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, give me a use magic device roll. Okay. Uh, stupid hopes. Nine. 34. Okay. Uh, uh, Chaga. Uh, Coven of One, Kev, uh, maybe Los, uh, Dugan, who's has this crown on his head, burned into his skull, his little hands in the air, covered in fairy fire, over this big broiling pot of energy that that seems to be creating a tendril touching Amadeus. Behold has, my grandeur! <laughs> has, has cast a heal spell. Oh, he's holding the charge. He doesn't know what to do with it, but he's got a heal spell in his hand. He's like shaking it like it's a wonder or something. Like it's fuck. It's a touch spell, Dugan. You need to touch the person you need to heal. Oh, I I know that. Okay. <laughs> He'll. Uh... I didn't know you knew you that trick. I guess you're the new healer now. Oh, it's this chug. He's he's taunting uh -oh. Dugan a bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, he touches Amadeus. Okay. Amadeus, there's a, a brilliant conjunction of energies uh, that are flowing into you. Positive healing magic, this this sense of hunting those which deserve it. Like this justice, it's, you, you must hunt, but you must do it justly. Right, there's this this, you okay. basically are defining the hunt on your own terms and to bring those into justice. The bounty hunter. The hunter. I'm uh, very okay with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're basically mythic tier four. Oh, sh shit. Okay. With, with the requirement that you spend your fourth tier power on powerful 
race. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. There, there's other trials associated with this, but that's the one that Amadeus, you are you are awake. I, and... feel, I feel like giving up my. <laughs> <laughs> so Amadeus was formerly blood theft. <laughs> he's now trial based. He is now trial based, and he's and... four, and he's got minimum XP for four. Yes. Okay. And he um, is a he is a lord of the hunt. Can I spend a DM point? Sure. The well, you don't, you... the um the abolethic symbiote thing just goes into dormancy. Perfect. It it just kind of it gives way. It screamed a little bit, and well, Amadeus's will sent it into a state of Hybr hibernation. hibernation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Okay, damn point. It wakes up again. <laughs> <laughs> Yes and yeah, no no but yes and <laughs> Sorry, that dude. no but is for combat the yes and is for role play. <laughs> okay. Very good times. Does he does he wake up? Yeah, he he wakes up. You feel Careful, he's moving. He's shifting. You feel like a great weight has been lifted off of you, like a, a taint, and like a renewed vitality. And you have a hundred and fifty hit points. <laughs> <laughs> and hundred and fifty hit points. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Like you're 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 still injured, right? So you're not you're not yep. restored to full uh, to full uh, cabal. Yep. Uh, oh, hang on, I got a a thing. Is it the go. picture at the top of your character sheet, Mark? Uh, yeah, I got one here, just in case this is what was gonna happen. Uh, there this, we go. This one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure, they both showed up. Okay. Of course. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Look at that. Vegemite. Oh, Amadeus looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> It's the first time anyone's ever said that about him. <laughs> Is that what he looks like now? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, he's got the little horn things. <laughs> oh, hey! hey! Oh, All that right. them kind of evened out there, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, very nice, Amadeus. Yeah, good stuff. Puts his hand on his shoulder, takes a bit of fur off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Capra is uh, saying hello to Amadeus while he's knocking an arrow and just keeping it there just in case. So are we stabbing him or not? <laughs> I don't... I'd prefer if you didn't. <laughs> is it still you, Amadeus? Are you still on our side? I am, Captain. Ooh. Hey! Uh, an interesting haircut. Look at Sorry. look at all those kinds. Touch it. Like, oh, <laughs> Ch Chaka pulls out one of the mirrors that he carries and just hands it to Amadeus. Amadeus looks at it, and he nods approvingly. Agreed. You're quite horny. <laughs> Amadeus's humor hasn't uh, improved, though, <laughs> and he does not slap with you. <laughs> Chuck is just flying over to go. <laughs> You're saying. Go hang Can someone there. explain what has happened to me? Uh, you died! No, he's one of us now. Hey, bud. So, you got horns, right? 
He's just comparing words. <laughs> you don't have an overwhelming need to hunt us all, do you? Hmm? Not you. Hmm. But there are others that require justice. Um, can you can you name some of those folks? <laughs> Coven, the the wild hunt wouldn't use like justice as a goal because the wild hunt hunt for vengeance and for like it's almost like pleasure but that's not the right word yep it, justice is not a like a term that the, those of the wild hunt would ever, like be able to utter if you if you've got a good perception you probably notice that like coven's eyes slight like the pupil of her eyes slightly changing color as she's changing through the um, constant detect good evil law chaos as she's confirming Chaga's she trusts Chaga but she's also verifying <laughs> trust but verifying exactly. <laughs> trust that Chaga's not lying not right. that he got it right <laughs> right yeah. she, she's very she thinks the wild hunt is awful uh, not necessarily what Amadeus has become as awful she's curious Okay, uh, Amadeus is like a very lawful, very good creature. Hmm. It appears that Jogger is right. You've sweat off all the chaos, yet the chaos has changed you. You're very the same inside, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I suppose we have something in common now. We are brothers. I will look after you and you will look after me forever. Hand on the shoulder. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey! He's one what? of us now! <laughs> oh yeah, sorry for stabbing you. I didn't know you were going to get all sweaty and, and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you took the necessary precautions to protect your comrades. There is no shame in that. That! Rooting around for magic. Besides, <laughs> you don't have a neck to break. I am sorry I was not able to get in and help you when you were alone here. I apologize. It was no one's fault. I escaped that maze, I think, early. I just sort of thought you'd all be inside by then. <laughs> it is it is shameful. It is shameful and cowardly of us there to was, not have been here to support. There was so many of the dog things in the way and the, the earthquake and the shaking. You just got really good at mazes. No, no, how no excuses, have... Capra. No excuses. It's not an excuse. We but... failed our comrade. We spent weeks building a maze puzzle and Amadeus couldn't solve anything. Who thought he could get out of the spell? <laughs> He's being there for, you know, not even popping out now. Yeah, you're mostly a dumb shit. How'd you get out so quick? Hey, I'm just, I am still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just, I, I would have had to gone and save you like I saved Grackle when he got caught in a prison that one time. I was, I see what had no. Speaking of dumb <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, when are we going back to the abyss? Uh, do you guys have that for you know, after the, pretty soon? Get uh, there? Uh, we oh back. yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't have too many plans on going right back to the abyss there. <laughs> Nice little crown you got there. Let's <laughs> looking at it. Yeah, Amadeus is like, I'm not sure how I'm going to sleep with this. Oh, Do uh, face I... sleep? <laughs> yeah. I was talking to Dugan. Los is hovering very close to Dugan. <laughs> <laughs> looking. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's nicer than my other crown. You know what? It has something to do with this place. No shit. Yeah, yeah I think I'm kind of the tree. <laughs> Can you, can you, like, hide it so people can't see it right away? Or, like... But my crown? Why would I want not people not to see my crown? <laughs> He's talking to the guy who's got an invisible crown. <laughs> that the party doesn't know exists. <laughs> <laughs> Just this weird, uh, like... You know, you know, no, no reason. 
Coven's listening to all of you and your little banter. She's learning a lot about you guys right now. <clears throat> Why would you want to come? You know, I'm stupid. You're right. Who would want to cover their crown? An excellent question, Dugan. What is this place? Would you like to learn more about it? Perhaps I could perform some sort of divination? Hmm? Yes. Oh, lore keeper, I command you to command the divination from the fabrics of the knitted sweater of magic. <laughs> She's... She's now looking at Dugan's alignment. <laughs> <laughs> He's chaotic dumb. <laughs> she, <laughs> fine. <laughs> she will use a... Uh, well, we're right here, so... I think we're going to legend lore the tree? Okay. With it here, I think it takes a shorter period, like minutes. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, she'll start on the divination. It will take 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, Dugan, you know you still have access to like a whole bunch of powers. You don't really know what they are. Um, you know that you can kind of like just how this place looks if you'd like um you can guide how the tree grows okay um can you guide it to repair itself uh it will do that automatically like it will it will take some <laughs> it will take some time for it to repair but you can you know add cubby holes or change stairs or oh he doesn't just want cubby holes he wants little cubby holes that run into little tunnels throughout the edge you of want the tree a, you want a termite <laughs> maze that's yes, he wants a termite maze that he can get through. <laughs> okay uh, additionally um uh like the domain outside of the tree you can mm -hmm. like uh you can basically choose how you want the vegetation to grow um this sort of thing you do know that there is a creek that it like the creek needs to lead in and out and that's something you don't have control over okay I think Dugan's pretty content to let just whatever normally happens for growth wise here to happen. Yep. Uh, uh, aside from the termite maze in the bark of the tree. <laughs> aside from the termite dive. Okay. Uh, and you are okay with the um, the river beasts repopulating? Yes. Okay. They they will be loyal to you. Yes. He's he's good with that. Cool. I am the sovereign of this domain. I think. <laughs> oh, I don't get a domain. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. Maybe, maybe if, new. If there's one of autumn, I'm sure there's one of the other season. Oh, there's probably a summer court somewhere. Yeah. Uh, like on it, a beach or something. Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be sunshine and fields of grain or something. It'll be beautiful. Not like this stinky place. You just stinky domain of ooh, look at all the rotten goo. All right. Stinky. Jealousy doesn't doesn't that doesn't, doesn't become you. I'm just, yes. Just because I'm king of the fae doesn't take, mean take you're it. not king of the fae. I, which of us has a crown? <laughs> not only is it a crown, it's my second crown <laughs> today. <laughs> Coven. Did you have a seat in a chair? Have a seat in the chair. Uh, <laughs> uh, there, there is a very large chair <laughs> that is. It's actually um, part of the tree. Like it was one of the. Oh yeah, this one grabs a bit of the bear bear. Hold the. Okay. Uh... Oh, I wonder, wonder. Mm, dum, dum, dum. What you gonna taste like, buddy? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I'm gonna take ten samples. I'm not saying I'm gonna eat the bastard, but I'm saying I'm taking ten samples. Okay, you're gonna take ten samples. I need to make some space. Uh, Andarta. Oh, the bear. All right, Coven. Uh, this is 
one of the great trees of the Unseelie Court. There is it is one of a network of Seely and Unseely courts. There is bare, a, a mere image of this. That is the Seely Fey Court. Um, you're not certain of its location, but you know that it is like in this like parallel dimension to this. Mm -hmm. How they line up. Um, you know that uh, the this location was locked away um, long ago in terms of its power. Um, as and we're talking long ago, as in hundreds of years, as part of the uh, last Fey Lord's decree, um, and this there was a like a large number of powerful Fey beings, most of whom the of the most potent creatures are in this room, that related to this. Uh, the most recent thing in the legend lore was the birth of the Lord of the Hunt, um, occurred in this location, and you're pretty certain that's referring to Amadeus. Okay, uh, so as it's coming to fruition, she's going to call Dugan over, sit him down, like, in front of her, and, like, a like a parent to a child will share with him all the information. She'll even share it directly in Sylvan, so there's no... Mis uh, no... Nothing lost in translation. Okay. Dugan has we, become... Oh, go ahead. Do we have a sense of where the opening leads to on Volcanica? Like... We kind of just teleported there and then walked in. Do we know where that dot on the map is? Uh, yeah, you know where that dot on the map is. Okay, and where yeah. is it? Well, uh, it's the uh, it's fairly west, a little bit south. You're like beyond the enemy lines in the um, in the world. So it's you're in the jungle somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Dugan, uh, uh, Coven is telling Dugan that he is now. King of the Unseelie of Autumn, right? You've you have basically conquered that court. Okay. There okay. are you. You are indeed technically a king. Okay, but in the absence of there being no other kings here, that would make me king of all the Fey. Then, Coven is fairly certain that there should be. It's like you're one of at least eight kings. That are in sort of this organization, and there's probably more fake kings. It's there's lots of people calling themselves king of the gypsies. There's lots of people calling themselves king of the. You fae. must understand the fae are so fractured and spread out that their little fiefdoms are often called kingdoms. I understand what you're saying, but of this I must place. unite them under my banner. <laughs> uh, now, when he says that, this is this would be one of the oldest banners. Right. This goes back to the split between the Seelie and the Unseelie. You will be recognized as an Unseelie king, yes? Unseelie? Which ones were the Seelie and which ones were the Unseelie again? The good ones were the Seelie, the Unseelie were the bad ones. <laughs> Why don't you cut your wings off for Unseelie, you prick? Dugan, you seem to be caught in the middle. I'm sure there were plenty of Unseelie and Seelie who were like you. Undecided, undeclared, <laughs> uncaring. Look, the fence is very comfortable. You are very oh. small. Well, so... It makes it easier to perch on fences. <laughs> so, what about, um... Well, we know Mr. Fake Wings over there. He's a, uh, he's summer, so I'm guessing that's Seely. His face is being made at you. There is both a Seely and unseely king or queen of autumn. There is a Seely counterpart to you, perhaps, or at least a title. Whether or not the positions are vacant or taken, do not know. Fay very mm. spread out. Fey very interrupted with many tragedies here on Volcanica. Hmm? Well, I think we're going to have to have ourselves a little council meeting after this. Thank you very much. Indeed. Now, uh, what? Ch 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 oh, can I have a sword for a minute? We need to take Ophelia's head. <laughs> Absolutely, Captain. Allow me to do it. 
You do realize that with the last two encounters our group has had, we are at war with Rebel Fay. Unseal your bad, sir. Means he's understood, Captain. He will like, follow Dugan or, you know, and Dugan, don't tell him to do unseal these things. I would never suggest it. I mean, if that's what they want to do, <laughs> who am I to judge? Coven is able to explain to Dugan that while he is in his court, Dugan has the spells of a 18th level archdruid. Oh my god. Like you, you just have those spells. Your wisdom sucks, so you cast them and they're always at like they're like scrolls. I would suggest that we make this place okay. with the king with the with the sovereign's permission. This may be a very good place for rest and recuperation. Can anybody scry on us in here? Also, Dugan, you could bring people back from the dead. Heal them. Oh. Cast firestorms outside. I like my new clubhouse. <laughs> and my new hat. Yes, all right. I give you all permission to remain in my domain. Very magnanimous of you. He holds out his hand. <laughs> 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 Coven picks you up like a child and gives you a wet sloppy kiss that you'll never ask her to give you again <laughs> it was on the cheek it wasn't <laughs> but I accept your oath <laughs> just like fucking uh, bastard <laughs> Now, if so do I. Yep. I got people. Up, I, I know people who are growing beards who can't grow a beard that good. Yep. <laughs> um, he uses telekinesis to remove the bear from the throne. This way, Your Majesty. And sits upon it with his little feet sticking straight up because I mean it was made for a bear, now wasn't it? <laughs> it it was. He looks ridiculous and <sighs> seems to think he looks regal. <laughs> I ah. don't know what to think about this. Okay, well, Coven. You... Coven is going to go to the bear itself. Okay. Is there any. There's a throne here? What was the throne made out of? The throne is actually wood, and it when you get a closer examination of it, it's like this intricate, uh, like, like Wiccan or Wicker throne that's actually growing out of the tree. It's like part of the tree. Okay, Coven is going to use her craft sculpture and a mythic point to cast a fabricate spell to weave and Darta's body into the chair and make a nice seat for Dugan. Cool. All right. So he gets to sit on the bare skin. <laughs> there will be a big proper chair, but like higher up in the chair, there'll be a little perch for Dugan to be on it. So someone could sit in his chair. I'm sure there's all sorts of tricks that he can play with that. Uh, uh, but yeah, we, me, we make a proper chair. for give, give, me a, give me a craft check. Okay. Uh, 1d20 plus 36 plus 2 for good hope. Uh, let me see if she has any tools. Yeah, she's using that. And... Uh, let me see how much myth you're very shows. you're very crafty holy shit <laughs> uh, how many mythic points does she have left b or b okay she's got mythic left 1d6 for a surge uh grand destiny Yep, she's got all of her uses left. And that stacks. Competence. Uh, circumstance for tools, competence. Yeah, that stacks. That's a 51 uh, for a chair. For there, there is a, a glorious throne. I'm going to basically... Um, I will, will, will. I might embed the token into the map. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, his uh, his actual seat is up on the bare head, 
with all the with all the the horns and everything growing out of it. Um, That's perfect. I mean, I was just gonna do that there with my with my awe inspiring power, but uh, I very much appreciate this sort of thing. <laughs> it would it would have taken me like three months to do. <laughs> it was very good. You pretty good at this. Um. Who? I feel a lot better. I was really upset before, but, um, you know. It appears that in saving your fate, she points at Capra, we have changed the fate of two others. This was a great success, I think. No, no, it wasn't, Miss Chaga. I beg to differ. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I'm a fucking king. (laughs) Oh, no, your exploits are great. We rushed into this. I almost got you all killed. You would have brought us back if we died. You know? We could have all died. Yeah. In fact, the last two fights, I have felt rather... Mm. Impotent. I don't think... After this fight, fighting one mere Capra and some powerful Fae. When we go to fight the Iron Lord, there's going to be ten times the power there. The Iron Lord is trying to conquer a planet. These people were just sitting around, trapped, as Coven said. And there's a third Norn. I won't get a wink of sleep until that one's dead, too. She, she's coming for us, and she knows. Maybe she didn't pay attention to the fates that she could see all of all the time. It appears that my <clears throat> dragging you into the wedding, which was by de Gren's order. Chug is scratching his... Uh, his bald pate, has gotten us into this fight with Rebel Fay. I, I've seen Ninth Circle spells being thrown around. We don't have that power. Surely the Iron Lord's going to be able to command such power. We will not be, we're not ready. We're not ready. We're not ready. Give me a spellcraft check from Chaga. Sure. Spellcraft. 52. You know that the Iron Lord has a Naga serving him who makes Simulacra, who casts six circle spells. Oh, jeez. Because you fought one. The Naga caster casts six circle spells. To extrapolate to this, and it's a spell that's been on Chaga's mind for a while, Simulacra. <laughs> He's waiting until he has 18th level in order to be 20th level so that his 10th level Simulacra could teleport. Like, yeah. until yeah. they could teleport, they're burdened. <laughs> they really. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we could do it next level with uh, with one of those special gemmy things, but. Uh, <laughs> The Naga thing that we killed is arch, arch wizard, sorcerer, and power. Beyond that of the ken of mortal men at the peak of their power, the one in a million casters. There are more of them out there. Do you agree that we are increasingly being placed in harm's way and solving all of the war's problems? Uh, yes. Uh, Not all of them. I mean, we take a place and then they stand there and then they go, hey, we're being attacked. And then they send one of us in to go and shoot them away. Uh, like, you know that Capra and um, Sulfur during, like, downtime are out there slaughtering. <laughs> They're just out there mowing goblins down um 
Unfortunately, I don't think that we can fight fey rebels at the same time as we are fighting goblin heroes. And I am increasingly worried that we are going to be sent in first, while the enemy is pointed directly at us with all of its power.